I welcome you to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. Is that a window? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Eva? That's a window. Wow. My little flashlight doesn't. So there are a couple small problems that I found. I can't see it. Yeah. Oh god. We, we can talk about it inside. about this window because uh -huh. you see on this side we have one and it's supposed to be the same thing over here oh, okay so that's missing there's me a window right here in front of me obviously this big opening that's me a window so this room's gonna be well so we're on the porch right now we're on the porch i yeah, like it. that it's so covered you see how open this right there? can't see anything so that's that's gonna be a big attic. Area. Oh, we have an attic. So yeah, storage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so yeah, that's much that's better. That's gonna be a window. This is a doorway, like a big door. Wow, big door. it's huge. We don't have a window going out right here. Oh, but I'm kind of okay with that. No, I would kind of like one. Well, okay, I thought about that. So one. we can see out the front. Yeah, no, we need one there. Okay. We definitely need a window there because we want to be able to see people coming, you know? Sure. Okay, so big one. Another window there. Uh, wow. No windows here. This is the other side of our bedroom. This is huge. Yeah. Really tall ceilings. Maybe. We should hope against the odds. Maybe. All right, now that we can see, let's go look at your house, Eva. It looks huge. So last night, uh, there needs to be a window here. There's a missing window. There's actually two or three missing windows. Well, there's one that we talked about because right we made a big change along the roof line. Here, come back here. So, you have to be able to see the top of the roof. You can see there's opening up there still. Uh-huh. All along the side. <clears throat> so they haven't finished that part. And what Pablo told me is there's just a lot of maintenance if you put windows up there because you have to replace the seals on those pretty often. I guess that's why, you know, older houses break down. It's, it's things like that. So mm. they're saying they can do stucco and there might be a better chance. No windows. But, but yeah, probably no windows. So what we're gonna end up doing now, so it's not a missing window, it's a reimagined window. Uh, it's gonna be probably a big circular window, I think, on the backside, which I think we pointed to it last night, but we can point to it again in a second. But, uh, and then the other one, is uh right Front. behind the inset so it's yeah right there i like these steps <laughs> yeah i saw, oh I saw the guy just make them out of nothing well i mean they were they were climbing up and down right 
Yeah, right there, which is now enclosed. <laughs> yeah. Are we going in? Yeah. So these windows are awesome. In the original plan, this was going to be actually um, cut into the house a little bit. Let me show you all. It was going to come in and there was going to be like a tiny little patio type thing. Um, that was the original plan because of the because of the container homes. But now that we have, a, you know, a full house, um, more space. So we get more space, obviously, in the room itself. And we just have giant windows on either side. But we're going to add a window here. <laughs> she looks funny. Um, because this is our porch, which I love that it's covered. We should do a fan here for sure. That, like, we could have some nice, like, outdoor, comfy patio kind of like what Parker has on his back porch like big outdoor cushiony seats oh this is gonna be so and then we just have some coffee just have a coffee on the porch yeah I want the seating area to be over here and this is just to be kind of like we a could put a Christmas tree out here area. just put a Christmas tree nodded <laughs> mm-hmm I approve yeah definitely a ceiling fan so we're good as far as view I think from you know neighbors yeah we just need this right. to to grow in a bit more but, I mean, I'm not worried about that now. We're focusing on the house. So, a window here. So we can see, you know, who's who's coming. Storage, or is this washroom? Mudroom. Okay, washroom, mudroom. I'm keeping it that. Sorry. I like the window. Ah, this is so nice. We Look at this. probably won't do a stacking washer dryer. Ew. I've heard there's been several people that like it, several people that don't like it. So I'm just going to go with what I do. What do you guys think? Stacking washer dryer or side by side? And if you like one or the other, tell us uh, a brand model number would be even better, you know? <laughs> yeah, what do you guys specific? like? Yeah. Um, we're going to ask for a lot of input on here because you guys have opinions and we value y'all's opinions. So, and your um, opinions only go so far if there is a sale. If there is a bundle where they package everything together, true. then I don't care about your opinions. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Uh, I mean, obviously, I, I, I don't know. Is Samsung good? I feel like Samsung's a TV but I know it's also a good yeah. washer. Y'all just, but... just let us know about washer dryers. Um, oh. What do y'all like? What have y'all found that works? What do y'all hate? More specifically, what should we not get? <laughs> and then I'm planning on building cabinets up here. Ah. Or shelves at least for now. I don't want to pay for more cabinets yet. There's Buzz Buzz. Yeah, Buzz Buzz is out our back window. Sweet boy. I need to clear that up a bit. Don't take another step forward. We're gonna have a little bit of attic space up there. And on the left. Kinda cool. And on the right. The reason being is AC ducts are going to be hidden. We're oh. not going to have exposed AC. I don't know what that means. So, like, you know, we're going to have possibly exposed ducts running oh, along like the ceiling. Oh, like the big ceiling. silver things? Yeah. Oh. So there's a lot of maintenance and condensation with those. So they say um, it's better to just, to just hide it. So we don't hide it, it, and then you know you don't have any maintenance on it, or you have less maintenance on it. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Bless you. Bless you. At least she doesn't have a runny nose because I did have to. You poop? No, I thought she was about to sneeze again. I heard. Oh no, that. she's just sniffling. Oh, sweet girl. Bless you. Sweet girl. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can change our world. 
Oh, I know. Oh, I just don't Eva. Wow. What do you think about the house? Wow. Wow. It's pretty neat, huh? It's pretty neat. Wow. Wow. I need to talk to Pablo about that. Pablo, I cannot reach any of these beams to do pull-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try it this way too. No, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Almost lost my cool there. Look y'all, look. <gasps> we just got home from being in Austin this weekend. They're trying it out. Did you already pick something up? <laughs> Is that a nail? That's a nail. Oh no. It's a screw. Let's check the tires. Yeah. <laughs> I've been wanting to kill that root for a while. Hey, what you got? <laughs> <laughs> I look insane, don't I? Yes, you do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> That's crazy. You're so pushing I like a like, metal oh, stick on the ground. <laughs> Oh, no, it's crazy that I want to put it on the ground over there and like two seconds later I find a screw mm -hmm. right by the truck. I'm sure you'll know. It's just a magnet. It's a magnet. It's pretty cool. Does it pick these up? Yes. Sweet. Oh my gosh, are you so excited right now? Yeah, I know. I'll be out here for the next eight it's hours. like extreme cleaning. Oh yeah. I'm going to wake up at like 2 a.m. and you're going to be out here. <laughs> With a headlamp on. <laughs> oh man. Now who's having fun doing it? All right, okay. Here. Look at this. Holy moly. Oh, look at this guy. Woo! This is gonna be fun So for we're saving a ourselves family. some future stress before the things get buried, right? Yeah, before they get, or you know, buried in our tire. That too. Or in our foot. Like cool. Eva's little foot. Ugh. Wait. Yeah. What's this one back here? Oh, come on. You're not doing it right. You have to go slow. Yeah. All right. Was... Well, we're in the house. We're in the house. Well, not sting. We're just in, yeah. That'd be kind of fun. No, I don't want to breathe in all the... You want to stay in the house? Sawdust and stuff. I'd wait till there's doors. Yeah, and we would need to not be in here with Eva because of the sawdust. Um, so this is... Well, when I mean, there's doors, there's not going to be sawdust. So you guys have seen the, the footage of what's happening. Um, we've got walls now. We have holes for windows. And doors. It's not dried in yet. So what's the next step? Uh, there's a couple. So, And one thing is we're looking at septic. A couple different possibilities there. And so... That's not set in stone, which is unfortunate, but it should still be done, I think, mid-December um, with, with septic installed and everything. So we'll see on that one. Uh, the next step is for plumbing. Well, so there's a few materials that we need. We need a tub. We need the drain pan or, you know, the shower pan, uh, the toilets. Well, not really the toilets. Uh, to know where everything is going to go. Well, yeah, but we know where the toilet is going. Right, so the plumber okay. did his job there. <laughs> I mean, the next thing is really just hooking it up, which I can do. Uh, I'm not going to. <laughs> You're welcome. But uh, yeah, so that has to. We have to know what the, like the dimensions of the drain pan, the dimensions of the bathtub, to know that kind of stuff. For the plumber to come back out, finish that up. The electrician has to come back out, finish everything he's doing. Uh, the AC guy is going to come, I think, this week or next week. Oh. So, already uh, getting AC? Already getting AC. Because it just attaches to the side of the house. Although I don't want the workers using it. <laughs> They're not, no. Well, I mean, the house would be done to be able to be able to use They're going to turn it, it on. Right? No. Blast up the AC. Out. <laughs> yeah, literally. Uh, so, really, the next step is going to be the framers finishing up a few minor things. Um, not much. It's just like the little things that they, they, they missed and a few things that we added that now they have to kind of clean up a bit. And then after that is the, uh, not the sheetrock guys, 
Those guys are ready to come out. Like uh, the uh, drywall guys, um, they are ready. Like they're ready to come today. But uh, apparently we have to wait for a few materials. That's what Pablo said. So hmm. trust in him. But the uh, several things can happen once the siding is on, um, being the hardy plank for the bottom, and then the upper is stucco. And so they have to do hardy first, finish out the rest of the siding like up to be ready for stucco, and then stucco comes in and finishes out. Uh, that should all be done in a week or two. Probably, oh. probably two weeks. It seems things are are kind of pushing back a little bit. Mm-hmm. So. so the possibility of it being done before Christmas, it's like kind of iffy, but we're still hopeful. Yeah. But either way, it's happening. So the house I'm, will be I'm done before happy. Christmas with the exception of maybe a few minor things like everything being installed inside, uh, the septic being completely installed. That, well, I mean, that's kind of a, a deal breaker for right. it being done. Yeah, you just can't... I would say for it to be done, yeah. we need septic. <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, I'm parking the RV right oh next door, gosh. so... No. Just no. Walk, walk outside. Just, <laughs> no. You know? Um, I, I just realized, I don't know if we've done a walkthrough since they finished the windows. We came in here last night and it was dark, but I didn't get any footage. Yeah, and there's still um, one missing. Uh, yeah. that's so one. I'll do a, we'll do a quick little walkthrough and show you guys what it looks like with more walls and more windows. Okay, so this is the front of the house. Um, it is, this is where the sun sets, right in front of our porch, which is nice, but it's also very, very bright. Um, so we got the front of the house here. Obviously, there's gonna be more here. We're gonna have a, kind of a step down and then steps, but we're gonna have a gate on the front porch because we don't want little feet walking off the edge. Um, so this is our wonderful porch. New additions are these windows here, here, here. Very, very nice. What? What are you smiling about? I was gonna make a size doesn't matter to up to the feet thing. Little feet. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't want little feet running off. <laughs> Eva either. <laughs> uh, I love our porch. Just love this big porch. And then you walk into the giant living area the kitchen's gonna be over there this is going to be eva's room big old windows windows everywhere that was my biggest concern and ask was just windows um so this is going to be her room and then this is connected to our room we've got windows on either side of the bed here we're going to add a, like a little corner closet here bathroom with the high window and then i'll walk normally won't go through the walls. Entryway, hello. TV. That's kind of a window, right? Window to... Everything, the world. Things. More windows in here. This is the guest bedroom slash, I think it'll be kind of like an office gym, maybe filming room um, for the time being. We'll put a Murphy bed in here eventually, but we're not gonna worry about finishing that out completely just yet. This is going to be the, oh, I missed a nail, guest bathroom with the, another high window here because we just want some light in. Over here, we've got a uh, pantry, storage, can't see, but my favorite view is out this window here. And then this is going to be our laundry room with a bunch of shelving, some more storage, this is the back door that goes to the 10 foot drop off. And here's the kitchen. This is the, we're gonna have an island um, or a peninsula that comes out to here. There'll be seating there. Um, we're gonna have a big farmhouse sink. Fridge will be here. Storage, uh, cabinets, countertop, window. This is a new addition as well. And then that's a new addition. So that's gonna let a lot of light into here. Stove. And what else am I missing? Oven are going to be here. Oven's going to be a bit higher. No microwave, <laughs> no dishwasher. Well, microwave we can add in eventually. We'll just yeah. use the air fryer in the meantime. Well, and no upper cabinets for right now. We're only doing the lower all across the bottom. And then we're going to add upper after Christmas. Okay. Dark. There we are. All right, so that's it. Um, who's excited? 
Who's excited? <laughs> this is not my excitement. I'm really excited. I like walk the thing every single day. Well, like, yeah, because every, every day, every time they come in, there's also new stuff to look at. And this is this has been a really exciting change because like seeing it closed in, and well, there's electrical in here now. Um, so there's yeah, wires our, and stuff. We can like play like, house now. See where like, our light switches are going to be and where our plugs like we're will doing be. Switches. Yeah. Like where I'm the TV will be. <laughs> bathroom. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, so this is this is really exciting. Yeah, and we can see how the light's actually coming in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little, you know, and some of it's still covered over there. So you know. Yeah, I this, mean, there's, this is our. Obviously, there's not going to be as much coming in the front door, but there's. That was my one, like my my biggest. Ask, I guess. There's a bee. Get out of here, bee. Well, it's looking for. I wanted a lot of natural light, so. And I got it. You got it. I got it. Okay, You didn't that's get it. as much as you wanted. Well, yeah, but that's fine. It's okay. This is still plenty. Um, that's it for today's update. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. Always, thumbs up. And if you are enjoying the house updates, let us know in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new. Plenty more house updates and decorating and furnishing. All of that, I think that's probably more exciting to a lot of you guys. Is I'll the, be less stressed during that the time furnishings too. and adding in appliances and figuring out like couches and decor and stuff like that. Also working with the budgets. <laughs> I know we might not have couches. I don't know. <laughs> we'll do a budget thing towards oh, the man. end. I don't like once things are like almost livable, I'll I'll talk I'll talk money in detail. Yeah. I'll go through all of it. Yeah. <laughs> um but that's it. Okay. Is there anything else you want to add? We have one light installed, but Ooh. that's not worth showing. We'll, we'll wait till we should, like actually do more. Yeah. There's gonna be like lots of little 30 lights. Thirty lights. Spotlights. Yeah, Ooh. like thirty different spotlights or something. There's gonna be a bunch. A bunch. All right, that's it. Okay, guys, we will see y'all in Friday's video, and thirty-two. Whoa. Uh, there's going to be a lot of spotlights. <laughs> well, y'all have fun out there. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.